Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode here. And today's topics, we're going to be talking about shops. And being picky about who you let work on your equipment. And I've got some examples as to why. Anyway, so for about two weeks now, I've been having a severe rash of bad luck. And it all started when I left the home. Left the house, left the wife and the kids back home and all that. So let's start with that. So when I went home, I had some maintenance to do on the truck. Um, I did my own PM, uh, oil filter, let's see, oil filter, fuel, both fuel filters, changed the oil, checked the transmission fluid, make sure it was still good where it was supposed to be. And we greased everything on the truck, uh, every grease point, every grease fitting. We hit it. The only thing left to do is to get a DOT inspection since I've been here for a year. Um, and I've had my truck for a year, it's time to get its annual DOT inspection. So, I went to my local shop, which are a bunch of super cool dudes. I, I will continue to do business with them um, because of their ethics and the way that they handle things. I had a, let's see, I had a DOT done. I had uh, two sets of brakes and a uh, wheel seal that wasn't all the way shot it had just started to get a little moist so we went ahead and replaced it um, so got all that done and all that everything went kosher super effective uh, the rate wasn't too bad for everything said and done labor in the gate was out 60118 so kudos get a got a good job so I went out left the house and I'm on my way to go pick up my load, my first load that week, which was going to be a short week because it took a while because I had to schedule to get in, but, and the wheel seal popped. Come to find out, that shop had changed what wheel seals they were using, and they were a new type of wheel seal. And they are they warrantied everything, and they're covering, reimbursing a cover a 100% of all the damages that were done. Which leads us to the next place, which this is where I screwed up. I should not have went to where I went to. I went to a the Loves in Memphis, Indiana, and I got a to fix what was bad because the fluid had soaked all the brakes and the drums and everything was just toast. Um, let's see, we got wheel seal, labor, brakes, and drum. Uh, spindle bearing axles, uh, inspected make sure everything in there was still good and the bearings weren't seized up, which they were still good. Uh, got a brake kit, a drum, drive axle gasket, and all of that. And with the parts and labor, $730.95. So, Love's warrant, or so, my initial shop, they're reimbursing me for that $730.95. So, we're still good there. We're kosher, still in business, everything like that. So now I have Loves who did that repair. Well, they had a new guy working, and apparently he didn't torque down, because this was on the uh, 27th of April that was done. Today is the 2nd of May, and Loves went through, they did that work, and they didn't torque down axle seal properly which is the front part. The wheel seal's in the back of the hub, the wheel, the axle seal is in the front. And everything was rolling fine, everything's been good, no issues, everything was fine. And then, boom, I parked for my 30 minute break here in West Virginia, and I go to take off, and I do my walk around my truck, come to find out I got a puddle of hub oil where it's just dripping and pouring out of that axle seal, where it, I mean, I don't carry a torque wrench on the truck, so they, uh, but they warranty and guarantee their work, so, and here's the kicker, so, yeah, it's a warranty repair, and that's cool, I love saving money, but here's where love stiffs you, because if I would have got this into the shop, and was able to get it there, um, which the closest loves was, like, 50 miles away, um, I wouldn't have had to pay anything, because it had been a warranty. But they're charging me $599.85 to come out here and replace warranty work because they still want me to pay for the road call. That is a ripoff, y'all. 
be mindful about who y'all give your money to out here. I wouldn't have even bothered. Call. I could have called somebody else and had them do it and paid full price on a road call that was closer and saved the money. But, you know, loves nobody would touch it since it's a warranty repair and Loves was the last one in on it. So, yeah. So let's see. We had 601.18, 730.95, and another $599. What's that add up? Oh, and we had two. Uh, we had a drive tire uh, blowout on us, which doesn't make any sense. I guess the glue got hot. It's when I left that morning. It had 12:30 seconds on it, and that was another $700 on that road call. So what are we at just in two weeks here on maintenance? 1,600. $31.93 in two weeks in maintenance. Okay. This is why maintaining your equipment is important. These things that went bad, I mean, these, these seals and the stuff I'm having issues with this axle, it should never be a thing. These are, they're results of just bad product. And these things happen they're warranted, but it's just inconvenient. You know, I'm gonna get, you know, that initial. I'm gonna get that, you know, so I could take $730 out of that. So really, I'm only 1,900 bucks in the hole this week. But you know, it's stuff like this that a lot of owner operators don't talk about because some of these shops, man, they scam you. Loves, I hate doing business with Love shops, but they're a necessary evil. This is why I go to TAs and Petros, or uh, I don't even like going to them. I bring them to my. <laughs> I bring my equipment to my local guys. I got a local tire guy and I got a local mechanic shop that I do business with and they're phenomenal. They're way cheaper than these people and uh, they're just good wholehearted people. So just be mindful about who you let work on your equipment and do as much of it as, your, as you can yourself because one, if you do it yourself, you know it was done right and number two, it's cheaper and number three, you can get the parts a lot cheaper. I digress y'all, um, it's been a rough week. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this whole thing go. We're just gonna write this week off. Uh, we pick up on a new adventure come next week, which I'll be putting something out about then. So, but until then, y'all, um, y'all have a blessed day. Uh, be mindful. Don't get scammed out here, y'all, because just be mindful about who you let work on your equipment. This is the kind of things that like hurt people. We got fuel prices that are you know five fifty, six dollars, six fifty, seven dollars a gallon for fuel right now. We got rates dropping back down, and we're just getting squeezed on all sides, man. You know, a lot of people, you know, they don't put around, put away for this stuff, and they're one road call or one breakdown away from being out of business. You know, like, yeah, I, I'm blessed. Thank God I have the money in my, you know, that I set aside for maintenance every week to pay for this stuff. But it sucks, and this is the stuff you've got to prepare for because this is the important stuff. You have to be able to take these hits. Yes, it's frustrating. Yes, I'm mad about it. By God's grace, I'm going to survive. So it's all going to be okay. It'll work out in the long run. So anyway, y'all keep your heads down out there. Stay on the road. Don't be texting and driving. Don't, by God, don't ever drink and drive. That's bad. You know better. If you do, you know better. Stop it. But anyway, I love y'all. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.